Alrighty, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Another day on the water. Today, we are fishing for pre-spawn fish. <laughs> Guess that's really it, there's not much else to say. Yeah, I mean, it's starting to warm up for sure out here in California. It feels like spring is like just around the corner. Not quite there, but it's getting close. And uh, these fish are definitely gonna be in pre-spawn mode, I think. Today will be an interesting day. We got bluebird skies for the most part. A couple of clouds, relatively calm, no wind. Nice kayak fishing day, but I don't know how that will affect the bite. Today, I feel like we've kind of packed light, meaning we've only got five rods with us, one box and a bag of plastics. So not much at all. Yeah, I'll just tell you what, we're, what we have tied on. We, of course, have the spinner bait. We've got the Senko. We've got a crank bait. We've got a jig, of course. And we got the curveball bait, kind of the X Factor bait, which is the frog. If the right situation presents itself, we might uh, toss that frog around. But that's the video for today. We are targeting big, fat, pre spawn fish, and uh, let's just uh, see how the day unfolds. Okay, guys, we've arrived. First spot. Water is pretty dirty, actually. It's not chocolate milk, but it's uh, it's got some good stain to it. So I think the baits we actually have tied on right now are pretty good choices. We gotta start with this guy, right? We gotta go with the old spinner bait to start. We're gonna see what happens today. Hopefully one of these baits the fish want. Pre-spawn fish, hungry fish, or at least aggressive fish looking to feed up on some big meals. You gotta feel like some of these reaction baits, even with calm water, not a lot of cloud cover. You know, it's not your typical nasty, gnarly conditions in the pre-spawn that can elicit some amazing days on the water. Yeah, it's not one of those days, but you feel like we can still get a few to bite. Well, do we dare? I think we dare. How is there not a frogfish under there? Even that like penny wart is healthy. Dude, that was like the cast too. <sighs> Well, it's about 9.30 and uh, I've been fishing for about an hour and a half. Getting all optimistic with my, you know, oh, we're just gonna go crack giant pre-spawn fish out here, but haven't had a single bite yet. We just might have to wait for the tide to get right. We pretty much started on the very last bit of outgoing tide, so it's pretty low right now. We might need that water to rise up a little bit more for us. But as for now, we're just gonna cover some more water. That's what I always do and say when, you know, you, you wanna figure out the fish when you can't seem to get a bite is just cover Cover water, keep throwing different baits, mix it up. Odds are eventually, unless it's a crazy tough day, something will bite, something will give you a clue as to what these fish are doing or where these fish are. So that's what we're gonna do. Cover water, throw some of the same baits, maybe tie on a few different baits and uh, hopefully turn this day around.
No. Some of you guys may be yelling at me. Tie on a certain bait. I mean, we just talked this video up to be pre-spawn. And uh, I'm sure there's one bait that I know a lot of you guys are thinking about. And it's definitely a bait I've done really well on in the past. The old cheddar. What I'm hoping happens is uh, as soon as we start throwing this, we get bit and it's just like a light switch. We were around the fish the whole time, throwing the wrong bait. We gotta find out. Not a big one. It was a cold fish. But finally got a bite. It's a, almost 11.30. <sighs> chatterbait. Might be chatterbait time. Well, that's our first hint, first clue, first piece of the puzzle. I mean, I've covered a ton of water today. Yeah, no skunk. That, that's always a good feeling and uh, a promising feeling. See if we can uh, replicate it. That is such a bummer. So finally a little bit of rock on the bank, picked up the crank, textbook, got crushed. How'd that fish come off? Oh, dang it. Got her, got that one. Oh yeah, buddy. Feels good. Dude. She's fighting like a big one. Oh yeah, it's a big one. It's a net worthy fish. Yeah, buddy. You're junk fishing, you see some rock, you pick up the crank. That's a good one, dude. It's a nice one. Well, Fritz side, Delta Croc color. We're on the Delta, so makes a lot of sense. Now that's a fat pre-spawner right there. That's what we were after today. Fat pre-spawn fish. Thick and meaty. That's a belly shirt. That's what we're looking for. It's not been easy. I mean, you guys can see we're coming up on 12 o'clock and uh, that's two fish. That's two, well, three bites technically, but two fish in the boat, about four hours of fishing. So maybe we go with the crankbait for a while now. Got her. Got her. I think we figured out the pattern over here at least. Gotta go cranking. Probably the one bait that I haven't really thrown as much as the other stuff. Just because there's a lot of, you know, we started on a low tide and there was a lot of moss and grass and algae. It was just kind of hard to fish, but now the tide up a little bit more. You can actually fish it and it's two bites in like, 10 minutes on the crankbait, so I would say probably a pattern. Oh no, dang it, that was a giant. That thing bow 
mowed me over. Oh my god. Got her. The old cranker. Good. They're trying to fake me out with this chatterbait thing, and they actually want the crankbait. You know? Oh, it's a big one. Oh, he's barely hooked too. Look at that one. The hook came out of his mouth. Wiped at it, maybe. Yeah, pre-spawn fish. Any crawfish pattern usually does the job. Another thick one. Now, let's keep cranking. Cranking where I can. Yeah, these fish try to trick me, make me think that they wanted like a spinach or like a chatterbait or something. You guys tried to trick me. It's funny, this is the exact stretch we came to first today. Through spinnerbait, underspin, senko, not a single bite. We made, you know, a couple passes through here, worked it pretty slow and not a single bite. But now a little bit later in the day, tide has come up. These fish are a lot more active now. Actually, the, the tide is moving out right now. It's another prime example why timing and tides are so important on the delta, you know? And they're all biting now. They were, they were here this morning. It's not like they weren't here. They're just, they just weren't biting. And it was hard to put a bait in front of them, but now they're biting and baits are easier to present with a little bit higher water level. Got it. Yeah, another one. I'm just plucking them out of here. Just plucking them out of here with this crankbait. Another fatty. Another one. This is the pattern right here. This is the pattern. Ooh, these fish are so thick and you can barely get your hands around them. Not a, not a giant, but a thick one. There we go. Slow down a little bit. And this dude showed up. He's got one hook in him. Thank you, sir. All right, we got a little little case of the bass thumb. It's always a good thing. Well, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video of uh, fishing. And uh, man, we uh, had to earn our bites for sure today. It started out a lot slower than I thought. You know, we just plugged away as we always do when things aren't going your way or just not getting bites. Started covering water and throwing different baits. And eventually, we finally got a hint with a chatterbait. Maybe a little misleading, but kept throwing it, kept throwing it. Then we saw some rocks on the bank. So we picked up that little crankbait, that little fritz side, and we got bit almost immediately. You know, when that 
kind of thing happens. You get two quick bites on a bait after four or five hours of fishing. Something's going on. So that bait obviously ended up being the deal today. Well, crankbait, crawfish colored on the Delta this time of year for pre-spawn fish. Hard, hard to beat. But uh, that is going to do it for today's video. Short and sweet, I think. I'm not sure how long this video ended up being, but we caught some fish. Had a solid day. And uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you the next one.